Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Miranam Anjali, hey. And today we're going to talk to you about some news that came up here in the U.S. News that we had already brought to you a month ago. Yeah. State issues warning about seed packets from China. Do not open them. Do not plant them. Yeah. It's like all over the news the last two days that they're talking about seeds that came from China. People in several states have received unsolicited packs for seeds from China. Don't open them, don't plant them. Um, so for some of you guys, you have said like, you guys did the right thing, having the police get an investigation going. Um, some of you guys questioned us and thought we were overreacting. Well. It's all over the news right now. We are so, not the only person. Technically, we're not over it. No. This is, this, we did what we should have done was the right way to go because this is ridiculous. That's crazy. And we there, never expected it to go this way. No, we didn't expect it to be this many people. Yeah. Um, it says some of the things say there's no rhyme or reason. They can't figure out who they're sending them to. Um, like I said, us and the other guy on the street have been talking about China and the coronavirus um, on on either YouTube or on TV. Um, so but I, I don't like, think all of the people that got these packages were speaking out. So, no, but I feel like there's definitely some target, and maybe somebody knows what the pattern is, or they'll figure it out. Um, but this is crazy, crazy that this many people have gotten this when we send something through the mail, my name has to be on it. My full name has to be on it. Our address has to be on it, a full address, you know, a telephone number, especially if we're sending it out of the country. And we have to say what's on it inside. And they scan them. This is not a joke. Like this, I could not do this. I could not mail the exact same thing to China the way that they mailed it here. So how is it getting inside the country? The FBI director is saying they are our greatest threat to our country, to our national security. They've been all over the news. Trump has been talking about violating patents. We've been talking about hundreds of thousands of people who have died from coronavirus and millions that have been not only affected by the virus, but are unemployed or affected some other way. This has become huge worldwide pandemic and they would never allow me to send a package to china or anywhere else in the world the same way that they can send it here Not so at all. how is that okay and is this how the coronavirus started like who knows what these seeds are who knows what's inside who knows what else they stuck in there uh the guy up the street that spoke against is received a face mask, which I think that's scarier than seeds. But now that I see everybody is getting seeds, like what's inside the seeds? Are they seeds? And, you know, just touching them? Is there something that you're going to get from them? Who knows? This There's can't so just many be viruses. a money scam. Like that was what the, they started saying at first. Like it may just be a money scam. This can't just be a money scam when it's going all over the world. And now it's getting close to Washington, D.C. This is why it's becoming news. But it should be. They have violated things left and right. There was no name on the package that we received the address said some place in south china like down the street no the phone numbers that were written on there weren't our phone numbers and they weren't legitimate phone numbers on there no and what they said was inside was jewelry earrings and there was nothing of the sort so lies, lies, and more lies. And this is our own firsthand experience. And it's not the first time we've seen stuff like this before in the mailing system through China. But this is the first time it's come to our house and yeah. affected us personally. And we got two of them. The second one, 
When I called the police back to ask him about what to do with it, he said, take it back to the post office or call the post office because they have their own police federal that does investigations. So I called them and they said, they wrote everything down. They tried to figure out where it came from, came from China, asked me if I opened it. And, and then he directed me to send it, to take it down to the post office um, unopened and they would mail it back. But it shouldn't even get to my house. No. These people should not be receiving mails that have half of an address, no name on it, no, nothing is legit on it. And what it says is inside, like, if you're getting packages this many, you should be scanning stuff that's coming from China. You should be figuring out what's inside of it because... If you see a bunch of little round things, it's not one pair of earrings that were $3, which is what our thing said. We had two seed packets inside there. Yeah. I mean, where is the resolution at the UN? Like, where there's an investigation and we find out what's going on with the coronavirus and how it got leaked out. Did it get leaked out through the mail? Did they send people on this jet and that jet that was infected with it? to India, to the U.S., to Europe. Or where all these other viruses are coming out of China. Yeah, and and that's new, too. Lots of new viruses coming out of China. Like, Trump has said this is the worst that has ever happened in U.S. history. Worse than war, worse than Pearl Harbor, where we went and nuked Japan afterwards. Worse than 9-11, when we started two wars with Afghanistan and Iraq. Like, we have gone after people who have done stuff not even this extreme to our country. Where is there anything? Resolution at the UN, something, an investigation. Why are people not pounding down China's door and saying, what the hell is happening? How are they getting away with this for so long? Yeah, where is the investigation? Like, why are we not going to China? Why is there not an investigation? They don't because let there's anybody so many. But why can't we force to go in? Yeah, good question. Why can't we force to go in? They have, they make over five hundred billion dollars a year off of the U.S. 500 billion dollars. Yeah, that is free trade, not fair trade, not at all. And we need to cut off that deal with China. Yeah. They had way too many chances and it just needs to go out the window because that 500 billion dollars needs to go to all these different companies and come back to the U.S. And these companies need to either come back to the U.S., or go to India, go to nicer countries besides China. Right, that have democracies and freedom of speech. And Modi G is opening the doors like, yes, we need the trade deal to be cut and done. Like, yeah. there's just time and time again, you know, um, what about the Tibet bill? And what about banning apps? You know, President Trump got up there and talked about, we're going to ban, you know, we were talking about the apps. He was talking about, um, you know, the trade before. And we've heard lots of different things, a lot of stuff in the news, but we haven't seen any action. We haven't seen any plan being put into place, you know, and this is the time. There have been over 100,000 people have died from this virus and, you know, millions of people being affected by it. There... You don't have to go start a war. Just no. stop the trade. Sign the Tibet bill. Free Hong Kong. Free Taiwan. Do these big things. Do the political stuff. Play the political chess game. But do something. I feel like these, like, closing, you know, the consulate in Houston was, like, one. But then they're going to close the consulate. And you're going to say you're banning people. Um, they can't fly in. Or you're going to people. They're like... going to ban a few people. Like, it's like a political game. You know, a little bit this, a little bit that. Ban Hit their apps. You hard. praised India for banning their apps, yeah. and now you're not banning their apps. Yeah. TikTok needs to go. All these other apps need to go that are based in China. They don't allow Google, Facebook, Twitter, They don't allow any WhatsApp. of our apps. None of our apps are allowed in China. We shouldn't. FBI director said it is national security. They are a threat to our national security. They have every adult's information from phones, from computers, from hacking stuff, any way they can get it. And you're still allowing these apps to come in 
you they talked about it. We keep hearing like it's coming, stuff is coming, but we haven't seen any action. We've yeah. seen a lot of this. You know, there are over 2 million Uyghur Muslims in China that are in concentration camps. Where are where is everybody that was talking about Kashmir? Where are all these people that have been talking about, you know, Kashmir not treating and India not treating Muslims right? Where are they when 2 million Uyghur Muslims are in concentration camps. Not, yeah. Where are, where's the resolution at the UN? Why do they still yeah. have permanent membership? Like somebody needs to either, either add some more countries to balance out China. They think they have way too much power and it, the time is now. We need to stop them. We need to stop them before this gets out of control. Yeah. And, you know, we keep hearing day after day about more viruses coming out. There's nobody going in to investigate. They're not letting anybody in. This is not country you want to deal with. And for some reason, everybody's putting a blind eye towards China and letting them get away with this for so long. But it definitely needs to stop. You know, Tibet bill needs to be signed. Everybody loves the holy Dalai Lama and praises him on his birthday and all the great peaceful things that he brings to the world but yet nobody signs these bills or these resolutions nobody recognizes it and they all just kind of turn the other cheek when people talk about tibet this is the time uyghur muslims tibet hong kong taiwan uh outer mongolia like all these places that want their freedom back, that don't agree with the policies of the CCP. They yeah. want their freedom and China is not giving it to them. This is the time. If we play hardball and we play well, those countries can get their freedom back. We can hopefully get our lives back from this virus and all the yeah. other crap that's been going on. Maybe our national security will be a lot better too. You know, this this needs to stop and there needs to be something done. And we'd like to see action instead of a lot of this. You know, we've sent letters to the president. We've sent letters about Tibet and our support of it. We, you know, are talking on this channel as much as we can. And we feel like we, we hear stuff and we get excited. It's like things are going to happen here in the U.S. And then, and then nothing. It seems like nothing is happening. So yeah. we'd like to see some more action from President Trump. We'd like to see some more action from everybody here, you know, and in the mail system, too. Like, I hope they change something after all these seeds have come through. Yeah. And now it's gotten gotten on the real news apparently the gn news isn't real enough for people so now that it's on you know the news Fox channels news and everyone yeah everywhere else um people are listening so hopefully something gets done with that they need to, to not let these packages come in they mm -hmm. need to do something about china about trade about their un seat about covid um i could go on so yeah i'm done on my soapbox and um I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.